Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how you can stream your personal media from anywhere. Stick around. Alright, so most of us have access to things like Netflix, Amazon Video, Hulu, where we can watch pretty much anything we want to watch whenever. And those services are great. On-demand streaming is awesome. But what about those of us who have media downloaded on our computers, TV shows, movies, music, uh, that aren't on the streaming platforms that we want to be able to watch, say on our tablets, our phones, or our smart TVs? What do we do about that? Well, today we're going to talk about using a service called Plex, which allows you to set up your own little media server that you can then access using the Plex app from your phone, your tablet, your smart TV, your Roku, anything like that, and you can stream the media that you store on that server anywhere. It's just like having your own personal little Netflix. Now, I do like to focus on budget technology, so the tools required for this specific setup I'll be going over in this video um, are very inexpensive, and if you have like an extra $100 laying around, you should be able to put together your own server similar to my setup with no problem. So let's get started. All right, so I'm over at my little network setup here, and here, just real quick, are the basics of what I use for my personal Plex server. So under here, I have a Lenovo Think Center Tiny model that I bought for $75 on eBay. I said this would be a pretty inexpensive project, and I meant it. So I bought this, I got this for $75 on eBay. If you want to check out a video on this computer, I'll put it right up there. Uh, but the basic gist of it is it's a two-core, four-thread little com desktop computer. I've simply connected this to our network switch with an Ethernet cable just to give it a good, sturdy, and uh, reliable connection. And I've connected a keyboard and a monitor just to uh, get things set up with. But after that, we can disconnect that, the keyboard, and reorganize these wires, and it will just blend in perfectly with our little network setup here, which is why I'm really a big fan of Lenovo Think Center. All right, so before we get started, I just wanted to make a quick note that while I am using the Lenovo Think Center I just showed you for my main Plex server, uh, for demonstration purposes, I am going to be setting it up on a different computer, but don't be confused by that. Just assume it's all on the same computer. All right, so to start off downloading the Plex server software, you're just going to go to plex.tv, www.plex.tv. You're going to scroll down, and you're going to go to the section where it says Get Plex. You're going to click on Get Plex app and it's going to take you to the download center. And here you're going to want to make sure that you have Plex Media Server selected. Use Windows or Mac or Linux or whatever operating system you're running on, and then hit download. It's about a 75 megabyte file, so downloads will depend on your internet speed. But once it's done, you can go ahead and click that up to start the setup. Go ahead, and then when you're done, hit install. Give the computer permission, and it shouldn't take all that long. Once it's done, you can go ahead and hit launch and it's going to launch in the web browser. This whole application basically runs out of your web browser. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. All right, so because it is a brand new server, we get to go through the server setup. Uh, you get to pick a name. I've picked Ryzen server, and right here where it says allow me to access my media outside my home, that means that uh, you can stream your media from, say, a hotel or a coffee shop or anywhere outside of your network. So I'm going to leave that checked. A little more information on that in a little bit. So once you've picked your name and that, you can click Next. Now it's going to ask you to organize your media, and it's going to want to add a library. Now I'm not going to add anything right now. However, I am going to get rid of these simply because I don't want these. I'm not streaming music or pictures. So I'm going to hit Next. Media library, it tells you about the apps. We'll work on that later. All right, so now your Plex server is set up. And the next thing we need to do is add some content to the library for you to stream. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here and click on Add Library. And then you're going to pick which type it is. In my case, it's going to be a TV show. And uh, well, we'll just call it TV for now since I have TV show on one of my other servers. You won't have to worry about it. Name it whatever you want. Then you're going to click Next. And then it's going to let you pick where you want to get the data from. So there we go. So now that we've added that library, we can click Add Library. And as you can see, it already saw the TV show I had in there. Now what's cool about Plex is it will down there you go. It will download the metadata for you. So slowly, uh, within maybe 20 minutes, you'll notice that it'll start pulling in the actual names of the episodes. As you can see, I have season one of Psych. 
Uh, but right now it only says episode one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eventually, it will be able to pull in the actual names of those episodes as well as the descriptions, so what kind of happens. And if you want to speed up the process, you can hit refresh all metadata, and it's going to try. And then I would recommend doing the same thing and just clicking Analyze. Now you won't be able to see this happening right off the bat, uh, but it is working in the background, which is great. It's a great service. So now that you have this installed and you have your TV episodes or movies or music uploaded, now we can go and stream it from your phone, your tablet, or even your Roku TV. So now you're ready to go off and stream your media. Uh, you can get this uh, Plex app pretty much anywhere. You can get it on iOS, Android, right on your computer, and you can also install it on your smart TV. So it does support a few smart TV platforms, including Roku, which is the one I use. And the app is free. You just install the app on your Roku, uh, sign in, and you have access to both your servers, and you can stream your movies and TV shows right up on the big screen, which is cool. Uh, I also use the iOS app, which is fantastic. There is a one-time $5 fee to unlock the feature, but once you do that, you never have to pay it again, and you can watch on your iPad and your iPhone or any other Apple device you wish. It's, it's really, really cool. Uh, so I would definitely recommend going and doing it. It's totally worth the $5 fee for uh, the mobile devices. Well, there you have it, the basic setup of a Plex server. If you found this helpful, drop a like, hit subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.